I just want to introduce the driveway super cloud to you, give you an idea of how it works generally and how to hook it up. I'm going to show you underneath the hood, uh, let you know what's going on under there, and then we'll come back here, disconnect it, and we'll uh, get it back on the three wheel cart. So what I usually do is I use this uh, blaster silicone spray, and this just helps the stinger and the receiver. I just do just a little bit of a spritz on each side. Usually you're putting in a, putting the hitch in just with your hands with no weight on it. This has a little bit of weight on it. So what we just do is we just go ahead and line it up. And then adjust it however necessary to get it there. And then just get it in a little bit at a time until it lines up just right. And then make sure that it is secure and come around the other side depending on how where you have the harness mounted i've got it hooked up to a trailer plug for ease of plugging in and then i've got it set up with a wireless remote system very very simple used on winches and dump trailers. So you've got a little uh, power switch on the side, flip it in the up position. And then we're just gonna take the weight off of the stand with the chains. And we take this, just a secondary remote. And then we pop that off. And then just go ahead and stretch that out, give you some slack. And then lift it up just a little bit more. And then you can back your stand out and set it to the side. So the functions are very, very simple. This is all the way in the up position. You see that in the full vertical position, you can adjust your chains so that the plow can dip down lower than your vehicle, depending on the uh, areas that you plow often. And then you take it all the way down. So you can see that it's kind of creeping a little bit slow to adjust that. There's this dial right here. If you loosen it counterclockwise, that's gonna allow more fluid to go out and to come in, <clears throat> excuse me, to the reservoir. Fully raised, and there's your drop. You can see how that dropped a lot quicker um, than the last time, because it's allowing more fluid to rush through that line. <clears throat> now we're doing this with the vehicle not started. It does not take that much power. It does not take that much amperage to operate this. Um, obviously doing this over and over repeatedly, it's gonna drain the battery eventually, but for the general purposes of this video, I didn't want it running. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the front and we'll go over that. It's a very, very simple setup underneath the hood. We've got three wires that's coming from the plow up to the front here. So this is our remote receiver. You've got your blue wire, and that is gonna allow the remote to communicate with the receiver. You've got your black that goes to ground, your red that goes over to your positive terminal, and you've got your yellow, which is your up function, and you've got your white, which is your down function. You've got a solenoid right here. This takes the load of the amperage that's being thrown back to the plow. And then this wire right here, that's all there is running from the battery back to the plow. Very, very simple, very, very small, but heavy enough gauge that it'll handle the amperage that the plow needs. All I have is that running to the back and zip tied up to the frame with heavy duty zip ties that aren't gonna fail in the winter. And then that way, when I wanna switch it to another vehicle, I just have to snip the zip ties, drop it, the loom to the ground, coil it up, and I'm ready to take it to another vehicle and install it over there. Very, very simple setup. And then if we come around to the side here, I outfitted it with a 30 amp breaker. And so this way it avoids you carrying around fuses and everything. This is very, very reliable. If there's any sort of short in the system that would cause any damage, it's gonna simply blow. And there you go. It just break, um, broke the connection. And so when that happens, you get no, no feedback from the remote, nothing's happening. Make sure to check all your connections. You can verify that this has 
has broken. This connection is broken up here. Go and make sure that everything's good. Make sure that there's no snow piled up that maybe the water had shorted out in your connection for any reason. Once you've check in, checked that everything is legit, go ahead and come back up and you just do a swipe up of the blue switch there. You're back in operation. Okay, let's go ahead and head to the back. We'll finish this up. So you may need for your vehicle a drop hitch. This is just a simple two inch drop hitch. So it just drops it down just a couple of inches to give you a little bit lower if your vehicle's a little bit higher. Um, it allows the angle of the blade to hit the ground right so it gets the maximum scraping um, efficiency possible. And then once again, we will go over simply dropping this down, okay? And then you've got these springs that allow impact to hit the plow on either side. You don't get a left and right powered function on this plow. And I'll show you here. This does allow a swing this way and a simple swing this way. But it all, it all goes on what pressure is on the plow, whether it's the right or the left. And, uh, and it allows these springs to take up very heavy duty springs to take those hits. If you hit a curve or something like that, it's not going to tear your plow up. Um, too badly, it's going to allow the the springs to take that impact. So we'll grab the three wheel cart here. One thing I don't I want I don't want to forget to mention is that for towing, when you're when you're hauling this distances without using it, if you're just doing it around neighborhoods or roadways, um, it's fine. But if you're hauling it long distances, it's a smart idea to use this chain carabiner. You just hook it up right here, simply. And what that's gonna allow to happen is that when you drop this down, it's going to take up the tension on this to where it won't drop any further than that. So just keep that in mind. That's just a little tool that you have there for safety. So just take this, line, line the front wheel up with the hitch. Drop this to the floor right here. Let it rest on the, the three wheel part. Once it is resting, pull your strap up, get it hooked through the eyelet, and then go ahead and take up the tension on that. You'll see it lift up a little bit. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I like to drop this down manually by putting my own weight on it. You'll see that this shaft right here is nice and clean. There's no pits or anything. And so by putting that down, it's allowing that not to be exposed to any undue weather. And that way you keep that in as good a condition as possible. Then we simply kind of do the reverse of the way we hooked it up. Come over and go ahead and disconnect your power. And then I just take and tuck this up out of the way so that it doesn't get caught up in anything. And then go ahead and pull your pin. And then pull away from the receiver. Just like that. Then you can shift this around with this three wheel cart wherever you need to so that it is out of the way. And you're good to go. That's as simple as it is. Very, very ingenious uh, solution here to driveway problems where it's a medium duty plow that can take care of a three car garage, three, three car driveway, three passes, you're done. Very, very clean, on to the next job. Um, great tool. Uh, thanks for watching.